G'day guys and welcome to Redriven. Now, if you're watching this during the COVID period of time, chances are any international travel plans you may have had have been violently thrown in the garbage. But all is not lost because for around about the same price as an elaborate international holiday, call it around about $20,000, you can have a van life adventure exploring your own beautiful country. But a van life adventure will require, well, a van that you'll then need to renovate into your own fun-sized, funky, mobile apartment. But which vans are the best to explore your national backyard? Well, here's our top five. In fifth place, and okay, look, technically this isn't a van, it's actually a people mover, but just rip the seats out, renovate it however you like, and you've got one hell of a van life van. It's the Toyota Tarago, or depending on where you live, it might be called a Previa or a Town Ace, but here in Australia, it's, it's a Tarago. The one to get is the fourth generation XR50 in V6 GLI trim. Look, yeah, it is a bit on the thirsty side, but these engines are pretty much bulletproof. And get the GLI because it's the base model, and let's be honest, you're probably just gonna tear most of the interior out anyway, so why pay more for stuff that you're gonna throw in the bin? Tarago's are quite nice to drive, they're pretty comfy for long trips, and most importantly, they're just bloody reliable, and they have a superb support network. <laughs> Here in Australia, $20,000 will easily get you into our fourth place pick. It's the 2016 or 2017 LDV G10. Okay, look, they're not all that cool to look at and the driving experience isn't all that inspiring, but being still relatively new and hopefully without too many kilometers on the clock, the G10 offers loads of room. And besides an appetite for brake pads and rotors, they're showing pretty decent reliability. Add to that good levels of safety, some decent tech and a really economical engine and the G10 makes for a, an excellent exploration partner. In number three, it's actually my personal favorite of this list, it's the Mitsubishi Delica. It may be the smallest of our top five, but with its genuinely capable 4x4 driveline, it has by far the most serious exploring potential. If your idea of the van life lifestyle is to get far off the beaten track, ending up in some beautiful location that only a handful of other people have ever seen, then the Delica is for you. These things are reliable, parts are readily available, and they're not too expensive, and they'll go almost anywhere. And look, as long as you love to be cozy with your better half, or maybe you're van lifing alone, you'll have just enough room to live in. Sure, like the Tarago, these are actually a people mover and not a van, but go grab some spanners, rip that interior out, and you've got a good thing. In second place, it's the Toyota Hiace. Let's get the negatives out of the way first. They're pretty horrible to drive, they're not the safest option out there, and while the engine is it's pretty much bulletproof, it's not the most economical or refined of power plants, but as far as negatives go, that's about it. Now the positives. First things first, the one you want is a Super LWB model. And why? Well, because it's just, it's huge. High aces are incredibly reliable, parts are everywhere, and those parts, they shouldn't cost a fortune. And there are loads of high aces to choose from on the secondhand market. Many Super LWB high aces are actually fitted out as 12-seater buses, but like the Tarago and the Delica, just grab some spanners, rip those rear seats out, and with some ingenuity, you can have yourself a palatial mansion of a van. Before we get to number one, please do us a favor and hit the like, subscribe, and bell buttons down there. And hey, why not follow us on all of our socials as well? While these are the vans that you should be shopping for, it might be an idea to go and watch our top five worst van life vans under $20,000 to uh, check out the vans that you need to avoid. In first place, and like the LDV, these things aren't exactly cool, but the Hyundai iLoad makes for an excellent van life option. Why? Well, it's not only one of the more robust and powerful vans available, the iLoad has an excellent reputation for reliability, even when they have loads of mileage under their belts. Plus, it's one of the very few vans that has a sliding door on both sides of the cargo area, opening up your possibilities when it comes to fitting it out. Negatives? Well, look, the ride quality is pretty rigid, so long trips might require some regular stops, but hey, isn't that what van life is just all about? Embracing the journey just as much as the destination? Thanks so much for watching guys, and hey, what did you think of the list? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're at it, make sure you hit like, subscribe, that bell icon, and go and follow us on Insta and Facebook too. See you later.